Hey, kids, Adam here. As you know, we start every video with a joke. I want to introduce my lovely daughter, Mandy. Mandy, say hi to everyone. Hi, everyone. Everyone say hi to Mandy. <laughs> that won't work. They won't know what to say. <laughs> All right. Let's get, let's get on with it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting intro video. Interrupting intro video. Hey kids, Adam here. Uh, apologies that I haven't had a video for a while. Um, I did, you know, one with uh, upgrading to Windows 11. You know, you can see the card up here for that. And uh, I did a couple other things, but I've been actually really sick lately. Uh, I had pneumonia. I was out for kind of out of commission for about two weeks. I'm good now. I'm healthy. I'm back in it. Um, but everything in my life got pushed back, you know, like a month with all that time missed. And I'm just catching up to doing videos now. I have a lot of ideas that I want to do, uh, including some things, you know, around here that we'll get to soon. Uh, but uh, I saw a post today on Facebook. So I've seen this question asked a lot. Uh, people are looking on how to either move a section in a song, how to insert uh, parts at the beginning. And uh, this post came up in Facebook just today. And uh, here it is from our friend Alan. I have a song with quite a few time signature changes. I want to insert an intro before all that. How do I drag the content, including time changes, four measures over? So as we know in Reaper, you can move things, you can select, you can move, but a lot of times it won't move things like the markers or especially your time signature or your tempo changes. Uh, let's head over to Reaper and I will show you how to do this. All right, here we are in Reaper. I have a project that I'm working on with a good friend of mine, Bobby, who I also met through the Reaper user group or Rug on Facebook. You recognize this song, I'm sure. And that's yours truly on bass. Uh, Bobby is doing everything else. I don't have the vocal version yet, but uh, look for this to be released at some point in the future. And uh, I'll post it on my channel somewhere. Uh, maybe even do a mixing video on it if I help Bobby out with some mixing. Anyway, let's say we want to insert some uh, space at the beginning of this. So Bobby has a count and measure here. It actually starts at negative one for the measures as opposed to zero where most projects start. Uh, but let's just say we, in the beginning of the project, we want to insert some space. Uh, there is an action. You need the SWS extensions installed. I'll put a card up for uh, my good friend Mike over at Let's Talk About Reaper's video on how to install the SWS extensions. Once you have those installed, if you go to Actions, Show Action List, uh, type in Silence, and there is this Insert Silence Measures and Beats, and that's the one we want to do. Double click on it. Uh, we want to choose four measures, or if we want to do like 4.0, we can do that. If you want to insert four measures and one beat, you would do 4.1. If you want to do four and a half measures, it's 4.2, assuming you're in 4-4 four, four time. I just want to do four, four, or four measures here. Hit OK, and you'll see it inserts four measures. So now the starting of the project is actually going to be at measure three, with the count in starting at measure four. That's one way to do it. Uh, another way to do it is kind of a, a neat way. Uh, it's creating an entire region for your song. Now you can see we have regions up here, uh, you know, intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, the whole way down, and then they're copied uh, as time goes on. He also has markers here, and here's a kind of a quick tip. If you create a marker, and I'll bring this up here, name it equal start, and at the end of your project, create another marker and name it equal end, when you do a render of your project, you choose entire project, Reaper knows to go between those two markers. Just another quick tip there. Let's say I want to create a region for this whole song. I'll start here at the beginning and I'll just click and drag over to this end. Um, get it all the way over. Uh, if I do Shift R, that will create a region. And you can see it's already on the top of here. It's, it's going over the whole thing. Uh, and then I can go in and I can edit region. I can call it, you know, entire project. If I can type, and I can give it a color if I want. This is fine because it's a different color. Now, if I want to move everything, including my tempo markers and um, BPM and time changes and all that stuff, I can just click on this and I can drag it over. And you'll see there's this little icon here. Um, I can move it over how many of our measures I want, and it moves the entire project over. So that is two ways to do it. Now it's going to keep my selection where it was, so I'll have to reselect everything if I want to do that. Um, there was one more question that came up in this thread. A few messages down, Alan says, one more question. How do I copy and paste all of this for like a second verse or chorus? 
so back in a Reaper here, let's say we want to take um, the verse and the pre-chorus and move those to like, I don't know, right in the middle of the guitar solo or something crazy like that. We'll do the same thing here. We're going to create a selection between these two. Uh, do Shift R again to create another region. You see the region is underneath here. And then if I want to move it, I can just click and drag it. If I want to copy it, I hold down Control or Command on the Mac. And we can just copy this and move it. And you see this marker again. Let's say I want to move it right in between these two. Uh, it's going to move the whole thing. And there it is right there. And I can move it again, create another copy of it. And that can go multiple places. You can do this with a number of different things in the song. Uh, in fact, let's say uh, in this post chorus, I only wanted to do like two measures of the post chorus. I wanted to move those or copy those somewhere else. I can do the same thing. Uh, Shift R again to create a region. You can see this region is number 30, and then I can take this and I can copy it over, and it's only going to copy these two measures, and it'll put it wherever I drop, you know, wherever I drag and drop it. So those are the two ways to insert silence and a couple other little key things with regions. In fact, check out this uh, video up here as well. I did a, a video on how to use regions to kind of write, help write a song. Uh, and what I did there is I just recorded the same bass part. I've recorded for, you know, like verse and pre-chorus and chorus and like a post-chorus part. And then I rearranged a song by copying and pasting and moving those parts around uh, Kind of, I thought that was kind of interesting to do, kind of got good feedback on it. Alan, thanks a lot for the video idea. I really appreciate the uh, the question. Was glad I was able to answer and glad I was able to throw this video together. This will be going on this week. Look for something new, uh, probably a week from when you see this video uh, featuring some bass stuff. I want to do a, a kind of a blind comparison, sound comparison. So I'll uh, look for that coming soon. In the meantime, hit like, you know, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell thing. Uh, leave me a comment, let you know if this helped you. Let me know if you use regions like this or if you just kind of still kind uh, you know, just using markers or moving things around if this helped. Also, be sure to check out the unofficial Reaper Users Group Discord. Link in the description. Cool little picture in the outro video. And until next time, have yourselves an amazing week or two or however long until the next video. See you later. And uh, also check out the unofficial user group, unofficial Reaper user group. Also check out the unofficial user.